My name is Neil and I'm the National Director of Britain and for us we've recently had to go for a real experience where we stopped everything for 40 days and just prayed and fasted as a, as a national organization and we did that because we felt God is asking us to do it. We did it because we needed to reposition ourselves before him. We did it because we needed to just hear what he had to say to us and uh, for those of us who've been in Youth for Christ a long time we was just coming back and reflecting and saying that is the best thing God has ever asked us to do in our time with you for Christ. And it's been a time where we've been refreshed, but it's been a time where we've heard God speak so clearly to us about the future and the direction he wants us to take. And I would just want to encourage anyone when there's an opportunity to pray and to fast and come together and to listen to what God is asking us to do, that we respond and we do exactly that because it's a game changer. And I want to be part of where God wants us to be, and I'm sure you do too. So I think, I think one of the standouts for us, we'd got what God was saying to us was really from Jeremiah 29. I, I, oh gosh, I think it was like 12, where it says, Seek me and you will find me. And when you find me with all your heart, I'm there. And, and what we really felt God was saying was, I just want your heart. So just come before me and give me yourself without reservation. Come to me with everything you've got and I will meet with you, but I need you to respond to me. And that was really the significance of our time together. Yeah, so I think for us as an organization, off the back of our 40 days of praying and fasting was this real sense that it can't just be something in the past. It's got to be something we continue to do. It's got to be something that where we position ourselves so we are committing to praying and discipleship on a weekly basis. 20% of our working week now is committed to prayer and discipleship because we have to take it serious, right? If God is the orchestrator and the leader of you for Christ, then we need to spend time in his presence listening to what he has to say to us. So that's a major factor for us. We will be doing things differently when it comes to mission with a sense of what God is asking us to do. We're still committed to evangelism. We're still committed to young people. We're still committed to the local church. But how we do that is really how we're going to have to rethink that based on what we felt God was saying in that time.